quickly. I want to, I want to finish now. Job Jaldi chapter one. Pahe. Job chapter one. Hurry up. Nikalenge Ayub ke pusak mein pehla adhyay. Job chapter one verse thirteen. Ayub ka pehla adhyay tera onchan. I want to show you in the in the Old Testament things like that. Quickly, quick. Hurry up. Shri Papa da kosi ke me bre deke. Somebody lift your voice and speak in tongues. Sakaba. Or koi to apne prasa. Aap koi chhota kar ande bashon mein bolenge. Come on, come on. Sow it to the spirit. Sow to the spirit. Father, open our spirits, Lord, to receive your word. Open our eyes, our ears, O oh God, that this word would not just be information, but be revelation in Jesus' name. Job chapter one verse thirteen. Quickly. Ayub ka pehla adhyas ka tera mochin. See what it says. Or dekho mochin kya kya tha. Now there was a day when his sons, that is Job's sons and daughters, were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. Or yahan par aisa hota hai ki ek din aisa hua ki Ayub ke bete bete yam bade bhai ke ghar mein kha rahe the aur daak madhu pi rahe the. And a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding besides them. तब एक दूत अयुब के पास आकर कहने लगा हम तो बैलों से हल जोत रहे थे और गधैया उनके पास चल रही थी वेन द सेबियंस रेडेड एंड टुक देम अवे इन डीड देव किल द सर्वेंट्स विद द एज ऑफ द सोल्ड एंड आई अलोन हैव एस्केप टू टेल यू गो फॉर सभा के लोग घबरा करके उनको ले गए और तलवार से तेरे सेवकों को मार डाला है और मैं ही अकेला बचकर तुझे समाचार देने को आया हूं द फर्स्ट एंड एक्सियर व्हाइल ही वाज स्टिल स्पीकिंग अनदर आल्सो केम एंड सेड द फायर ऑफ गॉड फेल फ्रॉम हेवन and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them and i alone have escaped to tell you listen carefully go ahead yeah, master woh bhi ye keh raha tha ki dusra bhi aakar kehne laga parmeshwar ki aag aakar se giri aur usse bhed bakri aur sevak jal kar bhasma ho gaye aur main hi akela bachka tujhe samachar dene ko aaya hu now i'm not going to read the whole thing ab dekhiye puri cheezon ko nahi padhenge but i'm going to say something that will blow your mind matlab aisa kuch kahenge jo aapke dimag ko hila kar rakh degi notice over here gaur kare yahan pe if you read the latter past part of the chapter aur agar aap You see the devil attacking Job's children. और आप देखते हैं कि अयुब चैतन जो है अयुब के बच्चों पर हमला करता है. How many of you know that? कितने जानते हैं? The enemy, the devil, kills all his children. और शत्रु चैतन जो है उसके सारे बच्चों को मार देता है. But watch this verse. मगर इन वचनों को देखो. He says the fire of God fell on heaven uh, from heaven and burned up the sheep. This was not God. This was the devil. And and what happens is every morning. Job used to take an animal and used to worship God with a burnt offering. Everyone say a burnt offering. परमेश्वर की आग आकाश से गिरी उससे भेड़ बकरियां और सेवक जलकर भस्म आ गए देखो ये परमेश्वर का नहीं शैतान का काम था मतलब ये होता था कि हर सुबह जो है अयुब अपने भेड़ बकरियों को लेता था और होम बलि करके परमेश्वर को बलिदान चढ़ाता था. Hello. Every morning. हर सुबह. He would offer a burnt offering for himself, for his family, for himself, and he would worship God with that burnt offering. The animals represented Job's ability to worship God. और हर दिन उन भेड़ बकरियों को जानवरों को लेकर अपने लिए और अपने परिवार के लिए परमेश्वर का बलिदान चढ़ाता था परमेश्वर की आराधना करता था जानवर जो है वहां पर हम देखते हैं कि ये अयुब के लिए परमेश्वर की आराधना करने का प्रतीक था That was his connection. ये तो उसका संपर्क था Today we don't need a burnt offering. We have the blood of Jesus when we have the name of Jesus. Amen. आज हम बलिदान की जरूरत है आज हमारे पास प्रभु यीशु मसीह का लहू है But in those days, उन दिनों में they had to take an offering. उन दिनों में उन्हें बलिदान लेना पड़ता था. An animal, जानवरों को. And offer it to God. और परमेश्वर को बलिदान चढ़ाना पड़ता था. That was their connection with heaven. और स्वर्ग से ये उनका संपर्क था. And guess what the devil does? और सोचिए कि शैतान क्या करता है? He takes away the animals. और जानवरों को दूर कर देता है. Now, और अब Job doesn't have an offering. और अब अयुब के पास कोई भेंट नहीं है. Job Prayer has stopped, or Ayub's prayer has stopped, and that's when, or here, the attack came on his children. His children were attacked. How many listening right now? Friends, 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 friends,
He is a missionary. Listen to this. And he was working in a remote tribe in India. And this man along with his wife. He usually has a habit of praying in the night. I, I also learned from him to pray in the night. And those people around over there. They tried to poison this man and his wife. They tried to put the poison in his well. But that night, they saw two men near his house. The whole night they were standing over there. They were unusually tall, like seven feet tall, six and a half, seven feet tall. And they came to poison that well over there. When they came, they saw this one man sitting near the well. And they saw this one man sitting and one man near the house and they were talking to each other hello they came the next day hello and they were there and inside they could hear the couple praying they did this for three days and nothing happened they were whole night these guys were there they were frustrated and they thought that they had got some bodyguards so they came to the pastor and they said wow you really got some tough guys okay and the man is like short like me, you know. Hello? And he said, bodyguards. I can't afford bodyguards. I don't have food to eat. What about bodyguards? He said in the night. We came at 1.32 o'clock in the night. We heard you praying. And those bodyguards, they were talking about Jesus. They were talking about something. We want to make peace with you. Because if you have such tough people around, you, you must be a great man. Those people that village has turned to Jesus. Hello. This is what happens when people start praying. It's not your human machinery. It's prayer. Hello. Amen. Hallelujah is right. There are witchcraft forces. I'm not talking, you know, our people, international friends may not understand. But in India, there are witchcraft forces. There are, there are powerful mantras and curses sent against God's people. Hello, am I right? Hello. People vomiting blood and died in the morning. Our African friends will understand. Hello. What can save you? What can help you? Is prayer. Somebody lift your hand and say, Lord, teach me to pray. You are a young believer this morning. There's one thing you need to do. Is you need to pray. Apostle Paul. Great apostle. One of my favorites in the New Testament. Is to ask his people. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Because he knew. The importance of prayer. Church. I want to share with you one more thing and I want to close. The first thing is you need to ask the Lord daily and say, God, teach me to pray. Say it after me, teach me to pray. Secondly, keep prayer as your priority. How many of you listening right now? What you cannot do in five years, God will help you to do it in one week's time. How do these prophetic words come? Many people ask me how these credit card numbers, God reveals. Last meeting I was there in FBM. I, I, I told hold the credit cards and I read somebody's credit card number. How many of you know what I'm saying? Hello? 
How is this impossible? It's through prayer. It's through prayer. It's through prayer. It's through prayer. Somebody say amen. amen. It's, it's not us. It's, we are nobody. How do you prophesy people's lives? Yesterday one sister came up and said, Pastor Mike, you prophesied over my parents, you even told the color of the house that we would buy. How? It's prayer. When you pray, God intervenes. I want to encourage you this morning. You may be a broken man. You may be a poor man. Today, if you can lift your hands to God and say, Oh God, do something in my life. You will have a different story to tell. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise the Lord. Can I go further? You don't know what I heard from God this morning. I was in prayer last night. Do you know 2017? God is going to manifest His glory in your life. Remember what I said as a prophet. Let me finish with this and I, then, we will, then we will do this. You will see the manifestation. I'm talking for our church and all those who are here. You will see God's power. You heard stories, oh God will do this and God will do that. But now is a time for His manifestation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one last thing. How many of you want to grow in your prayer time? I want to give you a key today that will change your prayer life today. All, all the team members. I want to tell the media team. I want to tell the choir team. I want to tell everyone, all the pastors, if you are not praying, you are the greatest hindrance to the kingdom of God. How many are listening right now? You may be a coil team, you may be having a wonderful voice, but if you are not a man of prayer, if you are not a woman of prayer, you are the greatest hindrance to the kingdom of God. God cannot work with you. I know this sounds in today's churches it's only goody goody stuff oh God will bless you don't worry don't worry listen to me church we need correction somebody say correction okay now this is what I learned from many people Many apostles. I was with a great man of God in South Africa. I don't want to tell you who. You want to hear? I'll not tell you. <laughs> and I asked his team. What is the secret of the anointing? And he showed me this scripture. If you follow this, I'll be going to Korea soon. Listen, listen. Listen. And probably meet Dr. Yonggi Cho. Hallelujah. And I was reading his book when I was just growing in the things of God. And this is the scripture which I want to share with you. If you don't follow this, you will never grow in prayer. Acts chapter 3 and verse 1 and I close. Be in prayer pastors, be in prayer. Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. Let's read the Amplified. Now Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, that is three o'clock in the afternoon. How many are listening right now? You see, the Jews, 
they know what is prayer now please listen the Holy Spirit brought out a secret this is not to be legalistic but every prophet of God I met every apostle of God I met and every pastor that I met who was used mightily by God they said one thing we have fixed times of prayer there was a great man of God called Raymond T. Ritchie. Hello, anybody knows? Okay, I'll tell you. This man would alter even his travel schedule so that his prayer life would not be disturbed. And his ministry was amazing. Crutches, wheelchairs, paralytics being healed. Hello? If you are a housewife, if you are a sister, a brother, whoever you are, a businessman, can I decree and declare this morning that your greatest time is now. Your season is now. Your season is now. You sit. Your season is today. If you say, God, I want to meet you at 6 o'clock. Then ask God for grace to meet him at 6 o'clock. Work out a schedule that's comfortable with you. Hello? And keep up that schedule. Say God, give me grace to meet you at this time. I bind every hindrance. Are you listening? That's coming against my prayer time. And you will see church, your life becoming a blessing to thousands of people. Remember what I said this morning? It will happen. You will come and share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Heaven will start dealing with you. This is a secret to grow in your prayer times. You see Daniel, he had fixed times of prayer. He said, no, 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 no. Come what may, I'm not going to let this schedule be upset and Daniel became the prime minister in his land I decree and declare that you will be known in the city gates in Jesus name I pray hallelujah hallelujah There is a person over here who was involved in acting, acting, acting. Acting Hello. You were like a you were acting in something. I don't know what you're doing. Like actor, acting. Hello? And what happened is you had some kind of problem. When, when you were offended over that place and you you moved out from that place. I want that person to come here right now. You are involved in some acting, some, I don't know how to call it. Uh, maybe it's the stage acting or Bollywood, I'm not sure. Just come over here because the Lord is doing a mighty work in your life in Jesus name. Quickly, come quick. Huh? Acting. So he's an actor, where? In Bollywood. Stand here. Jesus. Here we come. Here we go. Bollywood. Bollywood is also here today. Somebody give Jesus a shout. Who's like Ryan? 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 Who's Ryan? Ryan? Who's she? My mommy. Is your mommy? Ryan. Who's Ryan? Ryan. Our team member. That's his son. I see like Ryan. 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 And your mom's name is Ryan. Rena, 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 Rena. The curse of poverty in your family is breaking in Jesus' name. Kneel down, son. Kneel down, son. 
kneel down son there's a where's this lady is your mom here sir mm. there is a curse of poverty in your house uh, you 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 did some acting God. you did some acting i believe what acting did you do no 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 i believe stand up i did not know this guy was his son because i said ryan i thought it was his father's name ryan <laughs> i need to grow how many of you know i need to grow okay I, Ryan is a man's name and like Ryan no okay God is also an Indian I ah, know nah, I know okay Jesus stand up son this is a curse of poverty upon your life are you going to shake your hand or are you going to say something yes because my husband is not working since one year now one year okay we do not know that because your husband doesn't come here the curse of poverty over your life is breaking in Jesus name today I told you it's prophetic Sunday your husband's mother I see your husband's mother and your husband's mother was involved in some kind of voodoo stuff thank you Lord I don't know about it because I, don't worry I didn't see. even I don't know God just told me okay and because of this it has opened because you see I see you as a woman of God hallelujah <laughs> praying and this and that and all that stuff but your husband's mother was involved in some kind of things you know <laughs> and that door has been opened for your husband to be attacked and attacked and attacked and today that attack is breaking over your life in Jesus name <laughs> give Jesus a shout right now who is this God who is this God who calls out an actor who calls out the mother's name I'm sorry I thought it was the father's name but and tells what problem you have tells you why the problem is where it is coming from so hold, hold your mother's hand listen sir I want to pray for you be careful of distraction because there's one spirit that distracted your father. You will not fight your father's demon. You are free in Jesus. Come out of his life. In Jesus name. Somebody give Jesus a shout of praise. His name is Georgie George his from bike, Mumbai. Jesus. His bike is Georgie George from Mumbai. Se. He is attending a meetings, uh, the meeting since November. He is in the meeting since November. Though he is a student of the Wharton Business School. He is a student of the Wharton Business School. Give him, give him, give him, give him. I am a fellow of the Wharton Business School. You are a fellow. Now explain to them because they, do, they think fellow means... Well, it's, a, it's, it's one of the top global universities in America. Yes, it's a top, one of the top global universities in America. What happened? Georgie, tell us. Georgie, tell us. Okay, so... Um, we I have a translator, okay? Yeah, so I was wanting to study further. You know, I was, I'm going through this period of time, which has oh, been a bit of trying time for me. And, <laughs> and um, I got admission into the Chicago Booth School of Business to pursue my advance. This is the number two university in, in the world for business. And, it's all and the Lord opened because... He has been, he favored you after attending the services. Yes, absolutely. Please stretch your hands to this man. Will you do that? I want to speak a word over your life. Where's your wife? I saw her somewhere. Oh my God, sorry. Have mercy. Hold your husband's hand. I declare one word over their life. That the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. You heard me. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. In Jesus' name. Kavita and Joji. Kneel down, George. Listen, look at me. We will miss you soon. We will miss you soon. Okay. But we
be I will be there soon also Jesus spoke in parables so that he who has to understand will understand the rest will not understand God bless you go thank you Lord this girl name is Sarah Disa and from June 2016 onwards she had a problem in her lungs and 2016 June se inke fephdon mein samasya hoti thi yes okay whatever she used to eat because of that uh, infection used to happen and air never used to pass into her lungs you couldn't breathe properly i could breathe properly means i used to get cough and all you couldn't breathe properly bilra i could breathe you, yeah but the 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 the, the, the air the breeze i mean the wind would not pass I through your lungs i couldn't eat anything cold and all okay what happened then on 1st january 2017 in shanmukha the new year service huh. you prayed for a person saying someone is having a lung problem lung problem ek jo hai ki sabha jo hui the shanmukha mein wahan par bhai ne prarthna karte usse kaha tha kisi ko phephde mein samasya hai and after that service onward she is able to eat everything there is no issue in her lungs concerning okay, it jesus inke phephde se jura koi bhi sakra ya koi bhi samasya nahi aayi hai can you keep your hand on your chest ma'am both your hands don't remove your hands okay show me your hand put your hand on over your hand don't remove your hand i speak healing kai ko bolte hain i speak healing kai ko bolte hain breathe inside in jesus name yeshu ke naam and god's people said amen give her a big god bless you hurry up